Alright, so I thought I'd do a quick video on this P0128 code. That one means your engine's not warming up fast enough, or it's not reaching the temperature it's supposed to while running. Basically, the computer expects the coolant temp to hit a certain level pretty quick after startup, and if it doesn't, it throws this code. Now, 90% of the time, this comes down to the thermostat. That's the part that keeps your engine warm by blocking off coolant flow until the engine heats up. If it's stuck open, even just a little, coolant keeps flowing all the time and the engine stays too cold. So, if you're getting this code and your temp gauge barely moves or your heat's kind of weak, chances are your thermostat's stuck open. Now, if you've got an OBD2 scanner that shows live data, this is super easy to check. You plug it in, start the car cold and watch your coolant temp. It should warm up pretty steady to around 190 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on your vehicle. If it hangs down around 140 or 160, that's a clear sign that your thermostat's not doing its job. And if you don't have a scanner, here's a quick tip. AutoZone or O'Reilly will let you borrow one for free. Just walk in, give them your ID, and they'll loan you a scan tool you can use right there in the lot or take home for a bit. That's all you need to pull the code and check live temps. Thermostats are usually cheap and not too bad to replace. Just wait till the engine's cool and when you're done, don't forget to refill the coolant and burp the air out of the system so you don't get false readings later. Now if the thermostat checks out or you already replaced it and the code still comes back, then it could be the coolant temperature sensor. That sensor tells the computer how hot the engine is. If it's reading too low or just failing, the ECM might think the engine's too cold and throw this code. Again, you'll see that in the live data if it's off. Also take a quick look at the wiring and connector going to that sensor. If it's loose, dirty or corroded, that can mess things up too. Once in a while, it might be something else like a stuck cooling fan or a glitchy ECM. But honestly, that's rare. Most of the time it's just the thermostat, maybe the sensor. So yeah, borrow a scanner if you need one, check the thermostat first, then look at the sensor if it's still acting up. That's it for this one, I'll catch you in the next one.